hello everybody so today i'm going to show you how to initially set up the hand tag just out of the box um, to measure the audio that is usually output from the cpu or from the pcs that we use in our home so we are going to actually go ahead and do that so this is the hand tag uh, 6022bl as you can see here uh, it, this has a uh, Two channel oscilloscope. It's a two channel oscilloscope with a 16 channel logic analyzer, as you can see here. And this is the ground and the reference pins with a LED to notify. And this is the USB. And I don't know why this button is, I never use it. And this is to connect it with other hand tech data acquisition boats and yeah pretty much that's it so before even getting into the measuring the audio or from the cpu what we are going to do is so what i'm having here is a 3.5 ohm audio pin that is usually available so i have soldered it and attach it to the jumper wires as you can see here so that i can you know affix them to the I can extend them to whatever way I want and it's very useful for prototyping so you know if you want you can go ahead and make one it will be useful so what we are going to actually do is take the hand tech and uh, yeah I'll fix it with the USB USB is actually given with the hand tech along with uh, two probes And we are going to connect both the probes to the hand tech. And now I'm going to switch to the monitor and how to install the software and rest stuff. So now I have this uh, copied the contents of the hand tech software that is given in the CD. And as you can see here, I have a setup. So let's go ahead and run it. So we have installed the Handtech software. So now let's go ahead and check it in the device driver and see if our device is showing there. Well, our, our device is not showing. Let's try replugging the USB. Yeah, it's refreshing. And as you can see, we have this unknown device. So let's go ahead and right click it. Update drivers outer. Browse my computer. Let me pick. So I guess it'll be here. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so let's click have disk and let's browse it. So in the desktop I have this hand tech software in the CD and I'm going into the driver and yeah pretty much click it. So once you click it, flask okay, and click any one of the drivers, both the drivers are working perfectly fine. So it's okay, it's okay, that's the normal windows pop up and there we go. We have our device now attached. Now if you see the hand tech you will see a little red color light you know blinking over here there yeah which means the device has been recognized by, by the computer and you know the driver is up and running when the driver is not running uh, the hand tech will show no signs of activity so now let's go ahead and run the hand tech software voila you got it so this is the logic analyzer part so i'm going into the oscilloscope for now yeah we got both the channels here as you can see this is the wherever you want you can place it so let me place one here and one here and yeah pretty much now let's go ahead and calibrate our oscilloscopes so we are going to do that by uh, plugging in it into the square wave module so as you can see here in the screen let's go ahead and 
Okay, now we need to find the horizontal time. Ha, <laughs> it's been hidden actually. So as you can see, yeah, we got it. So let's change the time and let's increase it a little bit and see. Yeah, we get a perfectly fine uh, square wave. So there is no need to use the hand uh, you know, screwdriver kind of stuff. So, you know, if, if whatever you're getting is not a square wave, then you have to actually go ahead and, you know, there is a little screw over here. Have to go ahead and change the attenuation as you can see. Had to insert this uh, and you can change it until you get the square wave back. And this is the 1x and the 10x attenuation, I guess. So pretty much. So that's. I guess we have the channel 1 up and running. So let's go ahead and connect the channel 2 and see if that probe is also calibrated. Yeah. It's also calibrated. Very good. But as you can see, the waves are dancing because of the trigger. Let, let's click the auto stuff and see what happens. <laughs> Maybe I have to select both of them. I have to change the trigger source to channel 2 to actually make it work, work. So as you can see here, now we have a stable square output. So it's pretty much very good. So this is a 10x. This is also a 10x. Okay, that's pretty much. Now having calibrated, uh, I mean having your oscilloscope set up and running. There's a little option over here which you can actually go ahead and try called the utility and calibrate function. So what you have to do is uh, connect both the terminals of your channels, you know, the both one and two to this uh, ground pin over here. You can see this ground pin, right? Yeah, the ground pin, go ahead and connect both of your uh, channels. I mean, both of your channels to the ground pin and wait for some time. Then you can go ahead and calibrate it actually, if you want. Okay, so we have this DIY audio to jumper cable ready. So let's go ahead and connect it to the PC. Since my PC audio, you know, is kind of distance from my camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a chain of jumper wires connected and I'm going to use that to actually connect my, connect my pin to the audio. Let's go ahead and do it. The interesting thing is, since we have uh, connected the oscilloscope using the USB, the ground of the USB and the ground pin of the audio is both the same. So you don't need to actually connect the ground pin that is provided with your probe. So that's one advantage, I guess, for buying the digital oscilloscope. Okay, so we got both the terminals here. So I'm going to connect one of the terminals here. Let's connect one of the terminals here and let's pop up a music and see what's should we play yeah let's play quit playing games ah uh, they're seeing all this dancey stuff over oh, here let's put it in auto and see what happens oh my god that's bad let's increase the timing and Mm, that's pretty much the dancing wave I'm getting as of now and no trigger is gonna work because the wave is a changing wave so so let me stop and see if yeah I'm getting a pretty much straight wave so let me go ahead and increase the voltage Let's give it one. Make them set. Let me increase the voice. Oh, that's something really dancing. So as I increase the volume, as you can see, 
it's dancing a lot yeah pretty much so that's it guys that's all for today so this is my uh, little demo on new hand tech dso 6022 bl thanks for watching